I got hate mail in this invasion, but I'm not going to show it. I'm going to tell you what's here, but I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to put nobody gamer tag out there like that. I'm not I'm not going to do that. But anyway, basically, he told me to get good and new because I didn't kill him before he DC'd. Yeah, that's right. I said he told me to get good because I didn't kill him before he DC'd. I told y'all I come across toxic people all the time. I come across so many toxic people, I had became toxic myself at one point, inboxing people. And I had to I had to check myself on that because it's not that serious. When you get a toxic invasion to keep you from losing your sanity, just leave. Just leave. That's that's the best thing you can do. Leave and block the person. That way you never have to fight it again. But let's be honest, you're probably going to block half of the, the player base in this game. My biggest problem with Elden Ring, even after the patch of 10, uh, 106, which was a good patch, a damn good patch. It's a damn good patch. But it's still so much broken stuff. Like Shield Poke, Crouch Poke, uh, Moonville. Y'all seen on my Moonville video, I two shot and one shot. Two shot and one shot with the Ash Award. That ain't. What, what makes. I guess it's like this. From playing Dark Souls 3, I gained a lot of skill from that. So coming and playing Elden Ring, where people just able to one shot and two don't they don't know nothing about space and i said this multiple times i'm not going to repeat myself they know nothing and can beat you with an ash of war that's it it's they need the lord of damage in this game man they, they really need the lord i don't even my favorite i don't think i ever said this on my channel i think i have or uh, maybe in the older older video but my favorite weapon class has always been the Ultras. In this game, they the uh, they call Colossals, but in the other Souls games, they were called Ultras. And I don't even play with them because of Crouch Poke. I don't know people. I guess people think because you can Crouch Poke, it takes skill. Literally, all you have to do. Is squat down and poke because the tracking on you don't the tracking on it is so ridiculous it's like when I see somebody struggling in the crouch poke I'm like cuz I see I run across a lot of people who do try to crouch poke me and they be struggling to do it and I'm like how well all you have to do is literally walk up to somebody squat down and press R1 that's it nothing more if they roll to the side, it, the tracking is going to catch them. Why does it have tracking? I do not know. I do not know why the tracking on Crouch Boys is ridiculous. But it is. All you have to do is walk up to them and, and squat down and, and poke. That's it. Nothing, nothing more. And that's why I don't play with them. Because in Dark Souls 3-2... You actually, man, you you had to work to get that win with the Ultra. You had to work. Two of my favorites, two of my favorite Ultras in, in Dark Souls 3 was the Cathedral and the Zwihanda. Look them up. If you, never, if you never played Dark Souls 3, look them up. The Cathedral and the Zwihanda were my favorite two Ultras that I always played with. I played with ultras even though other people was playing with the, you know, faster, lighter weapons. And I won a lot of fights. I won a lot of invasions with them two weapons. It was fun playing ultra. I, I didn't, I, the poison mechanic in Dark Souls 3 was almost perfect. I just feel like it should have been like in this game where, uh, you know, the hyper armor actually starts up as soon as you press R1. If it would have been like that, oh, I'd have been perfect. It'd have been perfect. But anyway, like and subscribe. See y'all later.